Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm gonna to share with you a craft with me video where we make a tri-fold traveler's notebook or TN folio. So the collection that I'm using today is gonna to be Crate Papers La La Love and I did, I did pick this collection up from several different places. I'm using two sheets of double-sided 12 by 12 paper as the main uh, paper for my project, one for the folio, one for the TN that'll go inside. And then I'm also pulling out a sheet of the cut aparts so that I can use to decorate. And then I also have the cardstock stickers to decorate as well as the ephemera pieces to decorate i had recently pur purchased these uh, earlier this year at uh, tuesday morning and then also the sticker rolls which i don't end up using but you could technically use them to decorate as well so i am also using copy weight paper i'm using approximately 10 sheets you can use a few more if you want i'm using wet glue which is the barely art glue and i'm using these uh, velcro fastener dots from dollar tree and a long arm stapler First step is gonna to be to take out the two sheets of 12 by 12 paper, decide which one you want for your folio and which one you want for your TN that'll go right inside. Um, now you are gonna cut at nine inches from the bottom or the top, depending on where your branding strip is. Um, so you can get a nine by 12 piece of paper, that'll be for your folio. And then for the TN, you're gonna be cutting at eight and three quarters from again, either the top or the bottom, and then cut at seven and one fourths. And I am go ahead and, and cutting off all the branding strips right now before I get into the next part of the project. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score the folio sheet. You're gonna turn it face down and then score at four and eight on the 12 inch side. So just like that. So you're basically turning it into a trifold. So three even sections. Now, because you want the, the, the third section to fold in, we're gonna go ahead and trim just a small sliver off of the right-hand side, which is around 1 16th of, a, of an inch, just so we can fold it very easily. Just like that. Next, we're gonna be cutting down the white paper, the white copy paper. And again, this was approximately 10 sheets. So on the 11 inch side, you're gonna be cutting down uh, to seven inches. So you'll be left with seven by eight and a half. And do save those bonus scraps because I do have a second project that I'm gonna show you coming up after this um, in a second video uh, where I show you how to use that. So first thing we're gonna do is fold your folio, uh, for I mean, I'm sorry, your TN in half and then add your white paper inside. And now we're gonna be stapling it with a long arm. You're gonna set it to three and five eighths. That's the even, the middle section of this of this uh, TN. You'll see there where I have my lines down the middle. Then you're gonna fold in half and enforce the spine with a bone folder. So just like that, you've got your quick and easy TN. Next, we're gonna be adding the pockets to the sides of the folio. So you're gonna get those two 12 inch uh, scraps that were 12 by three, and we are gonna trim them down to fit inside the folio. So you're gonna cut them uh, at nine inches on the 12 inch side, so that way we have a small scrap as well as a, a three by nine. We're gonna cut each of these two strips in half. The, the wider one's gonna be at one and nine sixteenth, and the smaller one will be at one and a half. And then again, save those two little squares for later. So you basically have two small strips, one that's one and a half inch wide and one that's just a slightly larger than one and a half. I'm gonna use my circle punch. I'm using a one and a half inch circle, but this is optional. You don't have to do this or you could use any other size you want just to kind of cut a notch in the middle. So I'm putting them together um, and then I'm gonna cut out the notch at the same time. So that way they're, the notches are you know parallel. And then later we'll glue that that TN down in the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some small marks to where our pocket should be, um, the inside pocket. So you see how I've laid the inside, which is the yellow one, I've laid it on the inside and then I've layered the outside one to a point where it will overlap it and you won't see any of the under paper. That's exactly what we do. Um, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and glue down the first pocket, just like to where you have that notch, which is what I showed you here. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue the outer pocket. So super easy, super basic, and you can change this up if you'd rather do something else or you'd rather do a tuck spot or like almost like a belly band kind of thing. You can technically do any which way you want. I'm just doing two small pockets, two thin pockets for these, uh, for these sides of the trifold. And you'd repeat the same process on the other side. And again, you only glue on the three outer edges. You don't glue where you have the notch because that's what'll form your pocket. And then you do wanna check it on the other side just to make sure 
that you're not going over. We're gonna be adding glue to the back of our little TN notebook, and then we're gonna be adding that to the center part of the trifold. So you might wanna refold just to kind of reinforce those lines to act as a guide, and then you go ahead and glue down the TN to the, the center part of the trifold, just like that. So then we're gonna add a Velcro dot to, to do our fastener and I'm adding it to the far left side and then closing it and then it'll it'll stick it to the to form the full Velcro dot fastener. So here is our um, TN, our folio TN. Um, you can actually uh, corner round the corners, all four corners if you prefer. I do like it with, with rounded corners, um, but you, that's completely optional. You don't have to. I'm just using the We Are Memory corner chomper, you know, We Are Memory Keeper corner chomper. One of the really cool things about this is if you keep it flat enough, you can actually mail it in a number 10 envelope and then you can send it to a friend or to somebody. So I did already cut off the 12 by 12 cut aparts separately and I've got the scraps already ready to go as well. Um, we are actually gonna decorate this folio now. So I am using wet glue and I'm gonna first start out by using one of my little uh, square scraps, the three inch scraps that I had from the paper first. Once I glue this down, I'll just add a couple of additional layers. And remember, if you keep it relatively flat, you can actually mail this. So, but if it's gonna be for you at home, you can add as much dimension to this as you'd like. I'm actually gonna be keeping mine a little more on the flat side. It will be for me, but I will be keeping it a little bit more on the flat side. But again, this is a great gift to make for somebody and then mail to them. It will cost a little extra postage, but I think it's a, it's a great little gift to, to send to somebody. So I'm just adding a couple of tags. And the cool thing about this is that you can change up your paper and make these for any season, any reason. Uh, you can make a birthday one for somebody. They could use it as like a mini album or to document what they did for their birthday. Um, you can pretty much do this for in any way, shape or form that you'd like and for any season or any reason. So I did add a piece of ephemera and now I'm coming in and I'm gonna add a couple of stickers. So I just pulled out the cardstock stickers and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple to them. Just like that. And you can actually add a little bit of extra glue behind the cardstock stickers just to kind of help reinforce them. I am not only because again, this will be something that I'll just be keeping here at my home um, to use, but you absolutely can, especially if you're gonna be mailing it or sending it to somebody. So our cover is now complete. Now let's decorate the front of the TN. And again, you're gonna wanna keep this as flat as possible, more so than the cover, because this has to close inside of the trifold. I'm showing you here that you could actually cut this little three inch square into two triangles and add two little tuck spots on the corners uh like the say the bottom corners of the folio itself i'm not doing that in this video only because i've already added the two extra pockets um but you technically can so if you didn't want to decorate the front you could use it to uh add two extra little tuck spots to the corners and i've done that on other previous uh you know trifold folios that i've done like this and i think they cut they do turn out really cute and you have just a couple of extra tuck spots to to use so here we are just adding some additional tag cut aparts to the front and then I'm going to add that sticker that I had pulled off with the little happy couple, the Valentine's couple. And I think I'm going to add just a couple of additional stickers just to round this out. I wanted to use that strawberry since I used the cherry on the inside, on the outside I mean. Um, and so now our TN cover is completed as well. So you can actually tuck some of those extra cut aparts into the pockets here, and you can use these for anything that you want. Um, if this was something that you were keeping for like say a budget or something like that, you could tuck in your receipts. Um, you have so many options with this. Um, last thing we're gonna do is we have this one last scrap. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into four equal parts and turn it into some little tags to add into it. So on the eight and three quarter side, cut it down to four and three eighths, which is just the halfway point. So you get two even sections. Then on the four and three quarter side, cut it down to two and three eighths. So again, I'm just cutting it in half and then cutting it in half again. So you could technically turn these into regular tags, notching the top corners. Um, I'm actually just gonna use this little heart punch um, to just punch a little heart in the corner just to make it kind of whimsical um, and cute. So that's what I'm doing on these. But again, you can turn them into, you can leave them as little, little journal spots. You could actually turn them into tags. You could add ribbon or, or twine if you wanted to as well. I am just simply just adding a little punch in the corner. 
I feel like it adds just a little a little extra to it, it makes it a little cuter. And so because we're using double-sided paper, you can actually turn these either which way, which is neat. You can also use one of these as a bookmark in your TN. So it's pretty versatile. So here is our decorated trifold TN folio. Again, I'm using the La La Love collection by Crate Paper that I picked up from several different places. I will be having a bonus video coming up soon using that white paper scrap, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks for visiting, everybody. Hope you subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram. Thanks. Bye-bye.